Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and today, yet again, we are talking about another disgusting nonce. And if you live in the UK, you might have seen this clip. Liar. Ron, Don't lie. yes it has. What did I just tell yes, you? Yes it has. We've it even, no, we've even lie. rang your phone Don't this morning. Me. We've even rang your phone to tell you there was a leak in your flat. To get, get you back at home. How did we get your number? Because you gave it to Lauren. Yes, you give it to Lauren. No, remember? Yeah, no, listen, listen Ron. Remember, listen, listen. when you got spooked out, you said somebody had told on you for speaking to underage girls online. Sorry, you remember? Yeah. Yes. It's but if that doesn't ring any bells, that disgusting man you just saw on your screen was Ron Gorman, or Ronald Gorman, but I'm going to call him Ron Gorman for the sake of simplicity. Anyway. Ron was, I believe, a office worker, at least at the time of the recording, before he probably lost his job. Anyway, he will now be known as the office worker nonce, because I need a title for this video. Ron, at the very beginning of the sting, claims that his device, or the device used to try and get in contact with the miners uh, was stolen. It's not actually him. Someone's just using his account, which is total bullshit. And then Throughout most of the sting, he's then quiet after denying it for the first half. He was obviously arrested at the end, which I'll show a clip of it Chelsea, now. Chelsea, you? Yes. Right, guys. You love Chelsea, Listen, you? listen, take a step back, all right? You're saying you've got the evidence there yes, that, yeah. that he's been grooming yes, I have. for uh, paedophile activity, yes? Right. What I'm going to do is take this gentleman down to my station, okay? At the moment, I'd ask for you to come voluntary. If not, I will arrest you, okay. and we'll go down. All right. I need to take a little bit of advice from this because it's not something that I'm sort of okay with. I need to look through your evidence as well, make sure that I'm happy that we've got enough. Yeah, I'll take this one. Yeah, this one. You need to take this one before it deletes anything. There's nothing on that phone. All there is is a Facebook on a different name. You can look. Okay. There isn't even. I'm happy that I take yeah. that. Have you got any other uh, electrical equipment no. on you? No. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on you anyway. Um, I know I usually go a little bit more in depth into the stingers stuff but there really isn't much to show and tell because it's just quite short i don't know if they cut down or whatever but it's just an eight minute sting before the police arrived anyway um after he was obviously arrested he admitted to it in court even though throughout the sting obviously he was denying it which i'm sure was used against him in court anyway Let's find out what happened to him, shall we? So when he was arrested, an investigation was launched. The police searched his home and found uh, multiple devices and a stolen laptop, whoever he stole that from. And the laptop was obviously analysed to reveal he has downloaded he had downloaded downloaded images of child s abuse i'm not gonna say that other word because i don't want this video getting taken down covering all three levels of indecency including the worst character category of showing children being s aid which is a sentence i don't want to say but i'm guessing you guys know what i'm talking about obviously there's a lot of evidence against him and there's no way it wasn't him also multiple chat logs Confirmed that he had to every attention to have certain things with these girls. And he had a sexual preference between the ages of 11 and 15. Absolutely vile. He was found guilty of attempting to incite female children to engage in sexual activity. And possession of indecent images of, you know, anywhere. Gorman would placed on remand after a warrant was issued because he had failed to turn up to his sentencing when he was finally sentenced he was sentenced to eight months in prison of which he at least must serve half of that he apparently didn't show any remorse in court he was handed a 10-year sexual arm prevention order or an shpo order and was told he must register as a sex offender for a period of 10 years also, he was banned from using the internet, which, in my opinion, is not enough. Now, the SHPO order and the sex offenders register is obviously... I'm fine with that. I don't have an issue with that. It should be longer, in my opinion, but fine, that's whatever. 
only eight months in prison for trying to meet up with four different types of schoolgirls from varying ages, as if that even matters because it's all disgusting anyway. Plus, he had so much indecent material on him and on his laptop. It's a joke. Really is a joke. Anyway, uh, make sure to watch other videos. Uh, obviously, I've covered a lot of nonsense. I'm sure there's one at least some of my viewers hasn't seen. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.